everybody, it's Brie, and today I wanted to talk to you about a very special woman, and her name is Valentina Tereshkova. And she is the very first woman to go to space when she did so on June 16th, 1963 aboard the Vostok 6 mission and she currently holds five records and I wanted to go over those with you today. So her first record as I kind of mentioned she is the very first woman to go to space. The USSR had put the first man in space and after that they decided to put a woman's program together because they believed that that is what NASA was working towards next. However, the US and NASA, they didn't put a woman in space until 20 years later in 1983 with Sally Ride aboard the STS-7 shuttle mission. Record two for her is that she is the only woman to do a solo travel in space. And then her third record is that she is the first woman to orbit the Earth. On her mission, she made 48 orbits around Earth. And her time in space was 71 hours and 12 minutes, which means she was 48 minutes short of spending three days in space. And at that time, that was more than the combined time of all of the US Mercury astronauts. Valentina's fourth record is that she is the youngest woman to go to space at the age of 26, based on the international definition of where space begins. The international definition states that space begins at 100 kilometers above Earth. The U.S. definition of where space begins is 50 miles or 80 kilometers. So due to that definition, Valentina is still the youngest woman to go to space. The fifth record for Valentina is that she is the first civilian to travel to space. Five women were chosen for the Soviet space program. Four of those had a background of being test pilots. Valentina, instead, her background was in parachuting. She was an amateur parachutist at the time. And when the cosmonauts were coming down from orbit onto Earth, they were actually having to parachute out of their capsules before it impacted with Earth, as opposed to NASA, who was sending the capsules out to the ocean. So that is what made Valentina's application very nice was that she had that background in parachuting. Also, it has been suggested that she was really good for the propaganda side of her mission. She had a proletariat background, you know, a middle class working family. She was a textile factory worker and her father was pronounced a war hero when he died in World War II. Valentina returned safely to Earth on June 19, 1963. She would never again travel to space as the female cosmonaut group was disbanded in October of 1969. She instead went into politics where she became a high profile member for the Communist Party. She would travel around the globe going to different conferences representing the Soviet government. Um, some of these included the World Conference on Women, and she has been given multiple awards, one of which is the UN Gold Medal of Peace Award. Thanks for joining me today to learn about Valentina Tereshkova, and if you liked it, make sure to like the video and comment and share with your friends, and if you want more content, make sure to subscribe. And remember, for all womankind, the sky is not the limit, just the beginning.